Hey guys, back with another, well, hopefully quick video. <clears throat> Talking about some brake noise and more brake adjustments. Now, went out for a ride yesterday and started getting some really weird clanging noise. Not noise like from the brakes rubbing, but it was like metal clanging around. I mean, at first I thought something was broke. Like maybe I had broken a spoke or something, you know, to where metal would be clanging, hitting against something. But of course I came back, everything was tight, nothing wrong with the spokes on either wheel. And then I went back out actually just a little bit ago, some less busy streets, some quieter streets, determined the noise is coming from the front brake. Now, really quick, what I have done is the brake unit itself, where it connects to the uh, frame mount right here, this is where it connects to your frame mount. Now, what I did is I loosened both of these bolts up just enough to where you have some play in the brake assembly. And this apparently is how you align the brake unit with the rotor. Once you loosen it up, you pull the corresponding lever on your handlebar and hold it in place and then re-tighten down the brake unit to the frame mount. I did that on the front and I did it on the back brakes. After I did that, I came to both brakes and this adjusting screw here for the inside pad. The inside pad does not move, it's stationary. So you have to use this to adjust it in or adjust it out. In other words, you turn it in clockwise to adjust the pad in towards the rotor or counterclockwise to bring it away from the rotor. So you just do it one click at a time. Now on both of the brake assemblies, I turned it in to where I could see the pad down here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, probably not, but where I could see the pad actually touching the rotor. And when I'd move the rotor, I could see the pad moving because it was grabbing onto the rotor. Then what I did is I adjusted that adjusting screw out one click at a time until that pad was not moving when I would turn the wheel. I did that on both wheels. So the last thing that I'm gonna do is disconnect the cable from both arms. I'm gonna give a good firm tug to make sure there's no slack whatsoever in the line that goes up to your uh, levers on the handlebars, especially in the back wheel, because that one's got a lot more housing to travel through on the bike. And then I will go ahead and reset the arm based on the inside pad, the only one that moves with the piston, being as close to the rotor as possible. And hopefully, I'll come out with a good lever adjustment. This is the front brake right here. And you see how far that comes down? Yeah, that should be a lot, lot more firm. And like I said, there's a lot of noise bouncing around in here. My guess is it's the assembly down here. If you guys can see that up there, probably not. Well, it's the assembly on the bottom where your uh, cotter pin's at. Then everything else is loose. You know, I mean, it moves around in there, but something's clanging around in there, so... Yep, I'll be back here and we'll check out how the cable uh, adjustment thing works. Okay guys, so focusing on the front brake assembly. <clears throat> First thing I'm gonna do, five millimeter, I'm gonna loosen this up just a little bit. I wanna see. It's being Toughy there, isn't it? Yep, 
You know, let me try it with this. There we go. Okay, let's see how far this thing slides out. Okay, so that's totally free there. So what I'm gonna wanna do is make sure I get any cable tension pulled up. And check this area down here where the brake housing goes into the barrel adjuster on the brake. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna check the barrel adjuster down here on the corresponding brake lever. I'm gonna turn it out just a little bit. No, a little bit more than a little bit. I don't know, probably about a third of the way out to kind of help tighten anything up in there that I need tight. Yeah, I see there, we're good ways away. Find a spot. Pretty much just gonna keep the cable really tight. Don't lose your end on the, the cable connector on the end either. Pull that down to about right against the wheel or right against the, the rotor. And give her a good tight tightness. Do not over tighten though, okay? That's not doing too bad there. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's see how our brake lever does. Oh, brake lever's hardly moving, but I'm gonna turn the barrel adjuster back in on the brake handle, all the way back in. nice and firm and that's about right let me show you guys you can see right here see now this is where I'm at on the brake handle nice and firm and it's about yeah it runs horizontal with the uh, brake handle and that's pretty much where I believe you want them to be so last test, let's see. And it's spinning pretty free. So I'm gonna hope that takes care of the issue. I mean, yeah, I can hear the rotor rubbing a teeny bit and there's no sign that the rotor is uh, out of true. Same with the back wheel. So I'm gonna call that good enough and I'm gonna stay with good enough unless I start hearing that weird clanging out there again, but that's pretty much a simple brake adjustment, or I should say a three-part brake adjustment. We talked about, you know, pretty much centering the brake unit on the rotor, what to do there. We talked about the inside pad adjustment. It's back on this side, on the inside, facing the spokes. Then we talked about the adjustment with the actual cable itself, so. Yeah, it's easy to do. Just make sure you take your time and don't get in a rush. And one last thing, um, very important, I wanna show you guys if this stupid tripod will work. Do not forget to check these right here. The mounting, the screws to hold your rotor on, make sure you check these for tightness I never checked mine right out of the box until earlier when I was doing the uh, earlier adjustments. And some of these were slightly loose on both the front and the back. So make sure you are checking those, okay? Anyways, hope you guys are keeping safe out there. Happy riding. Hopefully without weird noises, right? Okay, peace guys.